Thank you for choosing Outfitter Satellite for your satellite communication needs. This video will outline how to set up and use your Cobham Explorer 510 rental kit, along with other important information. Inside the rental kit, you will see several things. A rental checklist with help sheet, the Explorer 510 terminal, charging brick with attached cord, and separate AC connection cord, a US plug adapter, a DC car charger, a USB to Ethernet adapter, and an Ethernet cable. It is highly recommended by Outfitter Satellite to set up and test your connection before leaving for a remote location to familiarize yourself with the 510 and your equipment. Because of the high cost associated with L-band satellite internet, it's highly recommended that you take measures to ensure your device does not use unwanted data in the background. Even when you are not actively using the internet for sending email or browsing the web or texting, your device can still access the internet for other purposes. Follow these best practices for optimal data use with your BGAN. Keep internet sessions short. Disconnect when you complete your work. Become aware of your usage. You can monitor the prepaid balance before and after each session by using the data log for the terminal. To view this from the Explorer Connect app, go to the Terminal Access, Logs, Data Log. Alternatively, use the satellite phone feature within the app and call 00-870-772-000-591. See your help sheet under Best Practices for links on how to configure your device for data reduction. Begin by taking the unit outside. A clear, unobstructed view of the satellite generally towards the equator, is necessary. Find a stable surface to set the terminal on. Press the power button for two seconds until the status LED is green and flashes rapidly. Remember, the antenna emits low levels of microwave radiation. Always point the unit away from you. Upon initialization, the unit will emit an audible tone to assist in pointing the antenna. This is normal. Connect your computer to the Explorer 510's Wi-Fi network. The network name, or SSID, will be Explorer 510. The Wi-Fi password is the serial number shown on the back of the terminal or on the orange rental tag attached to the soft case. If a wired connection is preferred, insert the USB to Ethernet adapter into the USB out port on the terminal. Open your web browser and type 192.168.0.1 into the address bar to view the Explorer 510 web interface. Point the antenna towards the satellite by rotating and tilting it until the signal strength shown on the web interface is maximum. A signal strength of 53 dBh or higher is preferred. The audible signal strength tone will also grow steady and higher in pitch as the signal strength improves. When you have optimized the signal, you can accept the signal by either tapping the terminal's on-off power button or press the OK button on the web interface. The BGAN will now register on the Inmarsat network, and the status box will change to ready. Be careful not to bump the antenna or the pointing process will need to be repeated. The first time you use the terminal, verify the APN value is set correctly. Press the gear icon next to the standard data connection. Select parameters. Change the APN to user defined and the user defined name to visada-usa.bgan dot inmarsat.com and press save. Start internet sessions by pressing the arrow in the standard data box. Disconnect the internet session by pressing the square icon. Always remember to turn the terminal off when you are finished by pressing the on off power button on the terminal for about two seconds until the status LED flashes yellow. Begin by downloading the Explorer Connect app from the Apple App Store for iOS devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. Begin by taking the unit outside. A clear, unobstructed view of the satellite, generally towards the equator, is necessary. Find a stable surface to set the terminal on. 
Press the power button for two seconds until the status LED is green and flashes rapidly. Remember, the antenna emits low levels of microwave radiation. Always point the unit away from you. Upon initialization, the unit will emit an audible tone to assist in pointing the antenna. This is normal. On your smartphone or tablet, go to Wi-Fi settings and select the Explorer 510 network from the list of available networks. The Wi-Fi password is the serial number shown on the back of the terminal or on the orange rental tag attached to the soft case. Launch the Explorer 510 app on your device. Point the antenna towards the satellite by rotating and tilting it until the signal strength shown on the web interface is maximum. A signal strength of 53 dBh or higher is preferred. The audible signal strength tone will also grow steady and higher in pitch as the signal strength improves. When you have optimized the signal, you can accept the signal by either tapping the terminal's on-off power button or press the accept button under pointing in the Explorer 510 app. Use the left arrow at the bottom of the app to return to the home screen. The first time you use the terminal, verify the APN value is set correctly. Tap Terminal Access, then tap the gear icon to the right of standard data. Tap the bottom parameters box. Change the APN to User Defined and the User Defined name to vizada-usa.begin.inmarsat.com and save. Use the left arrow at the bottom of the screen to return to the home screen. Tap Terminal Access and then click the play arrow to the left of standard data. For BGAN rentals through Outfitter Satellite, only a standard data connection is supported. You can now use your smartphone or tablet's browser, send and receive messages, and use other internet functions. The data used during the session is displayed in the standard data box. To end the data connection, press the stop button. To make phone calls, from the home screen, tap satellite phone. Dial 00 plus country code plus number. For instance, for a US number, dial 001 plus area code plus number. The terminal must be between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 113 degrees Fahrenheit while charging. It will charge in approximately 3 hours. To charge, lift the DC in port on the side of the terminal. The 510 can be charged via the DC car charger, the AC wall charger, either 110 or 220 volt, or the 10 watt solar charger system, either with the DC adapter or the supplied DC to DC cable. When finished with your rental, package the unit and return either FedEx, UPS, or USPS. Outfitter Satellite recommends using the original sending package box and material and ensuring the shipment with tracking. The return address is located on the orange tag located on the 510 soft case. See your enclosed help sheet for connection troubleshooting as well as more detailed connection and usage information. As always, Outfitter Satellite provides 24-7 tech support for all our devices. Contact us at 615-889-8833 and we thank you for your business.